Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Robert Hodgkin, Maricopa, Arizona. The revival will change everything. We are all very aware just how much we need revival. We need revival in our nations. We need revival in our cities. We need revival in our governments, in our media, in our schools. We need it in our cities and neighborhoods. We need revival in our families and maybe most of all in many of our churches. Here's some good news for you who have been contending for this powerful move of God. The Lord has a revival up his sleeve that will change everything. Recently, I heard the Lord say this, A prayer revival will come forth that awakens my people to the authority they have to settle things in the Spirit through prayer, through declarations, and decrees. I know we have all been contending for a massive revival of his presence and his power that will bring forth salvations and healings, miracles, signs, and wonders. To quote the Apostle Peter at Pentecost, this is that. See Acts 2.16. What I mean is everything is birthed out of prayer. The fact that God wants to release a revival, a revival of his authority and the authority of his people, in prayer. It means he is equipping us afresh to co-labor with him in prayer, in declarations, in decrees, to see people in places, situations, and circumstances that are mired in darkness and chaos and disorder. They'll be shifted into light, kingdom order, and kingdom truth. Think Genesis 1-3. That's the type of revival the Lord is wanting to inspire and ignite in every single believer, where we speak forth the word of God in prayer, in decrees, in declarations, and everything changes. The Lord is getting ready to reinvigorate his people with a renewed revelation of the power available to us in prayer. God is about to wake up the body of Christ with a mighty reminder of the truth of James 5.16, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. For too long, we have allowed the God-given power of our spoken words to be hijacked by the enemy through fear or frustration, through anger or discouragement. No more. No more murmuring. No more complaining about the wickedness, the unrighteousness, the perversion running rampant in our day. No, our cursing, the darkness. It must stop. God is going to ignite and inspire us afresh with a profound reminder of the power we have through fervent prayer. The Greek word for effective and fervent in James 5.16 is energio. It's the root word that we get from working. In 1 Corinthians 12.10, the apostle used to describe the Holy Spirit gift we have been given for the working of miracles. In the coming days, when we see situations and circumstances that are dark and dire, we will not be discouraged. We will be reminded by the Holy Spirit that we all need a miracle. And that every miracle begins with the effective and fervent prayer of a faith-filled believer. According to Genesis 1, 26-28, we are God's dominion stewards here on the earth, made in his image, in his likeness. This means that the main ways, one of the main ways that we steward his creation is the same way he brought it forth, by speaking his word. To this end, God is about to hit his people with a renewed realization of the truth of Jeremiah 1, 9, and 10. Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I appointed you this day over the nations, over the kingdoms, to pluck and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. It does not matter how long we've been saved. If we are in relationship with our Father through the gift of his Son, The Holy Spirit wants to remind us that when we speak the word of God in prayer, declarations, decrees, it works to pluck up, break down the things of the darkness of this world while also building, planting, and establishing. The word of God never returns void. It always bears fruit. It accomplishes everything it sent out to do. Isaiah 55, 11. Think about that for a minute. That's the power of prayer, decrees, and declarations. That's the power and authority God is about to reawaken and reignite in his people. When this prayer revival hits the body of Christ, we are going to realize that our prayer, our prayer chairs, our prayer closets, our prayer times are some of the most powerful seats of government and rule and reach and impact anywhere on earth. Yes, there is a revival coming that will see billions of souls saved. Yes, there is a revival coming that will see Miracles and signs and wonders 
But the reality of our Jesus and his kingdom, it will be on full display. Yes, there is a revival coming that will be filled with the presence in his power. Every single one of those revivals will be birthed through this revival of prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I ask you, Lord, to may it be, may it be on earth as it is in heaven. Lord Jesus, get our, get our, our prayers to be more energetic, more energio, effective and fervent. May we do the work with you, Holy Spirit, to do miracles, to believe in you, to trust in you, to declare a thing and decree a thing. I thank you, Father, for our brother Robert. What a, what a powerful word. What an exciting word, Father. And it all starts with prayer. Lord, may we run to our prayer closets, run to our prayer chairs. May we run and not get weary, Father, but may we continue to press in and push forward, Father, to see this revival, because it will change everything. In Jesus' name, amen.